Hi everyone, uh, I just want to make a few remarks on the upcoming uh, assignment that you have, which is the one in which I ask you to make a prospectus and annotated bibliography um, for your uh, uh, paper for the course. And so I just want to go through some uh, mechanics of that, and I've also got some pages that I'm going to link to um, that uh, you know will will help flesh this out as well. Um, when I'm asking for a prospectus, what I'm asking for is uh, really three uh, uh, three things. Okay, I'm asking for you to identify uh, a topic that you're going to write about, a question, and a thesis. All right. So those three things are, are not the same. Sometimes we th we think of them in in similar fashion. I know sometimes when people are um, you know, coming up with what they want to write about, they, they think of a topic. They think, you know, maybe I want to write about ethics in Africa or something like that. And that's fine, you know, but what that is at that point is, is simply a general area which can have many questions. Uh, you know, in, in the modules, as you've seen, I ask, uh, uh, you know, lots and lots of questions. Um, and so what I'd like you to do is to um, especially focus on the question that you want to ask. Uh, or that you you think might be interesting. All right. Now you have lots of models of this, as I say, throughout the modules um, and in the discussion areas. Um, but you know, in philosophy, it's I think it's very important for you to get used to asking good questions. Um, you know, maybe in other disciplines you can be simply given a question and then and then asked to answer it. But you're you're missing something important, I think, in philosophy if you're not the one formulating the questions as well as providing answers. Um, and the reason for that is that um, thinking through what a good question looks like, what it um, you know what it includes and what it doesn't include, how you define terms uh, within that question. I mean, all of those sorts of things is part of the philosophical task. It's part of doing philosophy. It's not just giving an answer for a question that somebody else asks. And so that's why I, I really break this down into topic, question, and thesis. And so on this page that you see before you here, um, you see I don't devote that much time to topic as I, as I suggested, you know, that's just a general area. But getting to a question, that's, that's a much more interesting aspect of philosophy. And the way to do that is to start by just writing down what you think might be a good question, okay? Even if you're not very sure about it, even if you, um, you know, uh, e even if it just doesn't seem quite right yet, write it down anyway, and then start analyzing it. Start defining the words in it. Um, start defining even the easy words. Uh, in philosophy, quite often, people come into philosophy thinking that it's going to be about big, long, hard words. Um, and the fact is, the most interesting philosophical words are the ones that look the easiest. Words like law, truth, good, beauty, being, um, you know, and, and you could probably think of many others. And the reason those are the interesting ones is that we use them for so many different things that they, that they often fail to, or that, that they cease having a specific meaning. In philosophy, um, understanding the specific meanings of things is very important. And so if you're going to ask a question, um, you know, you need to understand exactly what the words in that question refer to. Um, you know, you also need to figure out the parameters of the, uh, of the question. Um, you know, how, how much do you really think you can take on in, uh, you know, what is in this case going to be a fairly short paper? Um, you know, this is not a dissertation. This is not a, you know, it's not a book. It's not, you know, hundreds of pages that you've got available to you. It's quite short. And so, you know, any question you're going to ask is going to have to have some limits to it. Um, because otherwise, what you're going to end up doing is um, giving very inadequate answers to very vague questions. We don't want that, right? Philosophy is about precision. It's about careful thinking. It's about recognizing um, what we can um, define, demonstrate, argue for, and what we can't. Um, what we have knowledge for and what we don't. And so that's what I, you know, uh, why I'm interested in you um, spending so much time on the question you're, you're asking. 
The thesis then is simply uh, the answer to the question. Um, you know, it may be that in high school or in other classes you learned, you know, you, you were asked to do a thesis defense paper. And so that seems to foreground the thesis. In other words, you're arguing for something. That's what a thesis defense is. You're, you're saying, here's a, a claim I want to make and here's the evidence for it. And that's fine. I want you to do that too. But none of that can happen if you haven't asked a good question. Um, you are simply not going to uh, be able to give a convincing defense of a thesis if you don't already know the question that your thesis is, is an answer to. So that's what I'm minimally looking for. Uh, you know, a prospectus, as I say here, is really just uh, like a one-page uh, document. It's not meant to be long. It's not meant to be a short version of your paper. Right? I'm not looking for a precy or a summary of your paper. What I'm looking for is those three things. Right? So if you can tell me what those things are, then we have the beginning of a conversation. Then I can respond and say, uh, okay, that's, a, that's a, a great topic. Uh, it's an interesting question. What if you tweaked it this way? What if you uh, um, put some limits on it this way? What if you did this other thing? Um, you know, would it, would it still be the kind of question you think is, is worth, uh, worth asking? And so that's what I'm asking you to do in this, um, you know, writing a prospectus uh, part. So the other part of this assignment is an annotated bibliography. You may well have done this in um, other classes before. Um, you know, an annotated bibliography is, uh, in this case, it does not have to be very long. I'm not looking for a lot of entries on it. I'm looking for maybe five or seven, maybe. Um, I, I am looking, the reason I want you to do this is that you can't either ask a good question or um, provide a good thesis without knowing what others have done. All right, and so um, you know the annotation part of it is very important, and 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 again, I'm not just kind of asking for a kind of generalized, uh, you know, here's what this article is about, but rather, how does it connect to your um, uh, to your idea, to your question, and to your thesis? Right? How is it relevant to you? You know, there was a time in the past when we would have. Um, you know, use little three by five cards. This is like before digital times. I know ancient history. You know, and we would have written little notes on it about the various uh, sources we were using. And then, you know, those that have been available, you would have laid them out on a tabletop. You would have known exactly where everything is, and you would have been able to, um, you know, construct your argument or construct your paper or whatever based on the sources that you had at your disposal. You would have known what other people have said about this, and therefore you know, you would know where you fit in, in that. You know, you're agreeing with this person, you're disagreeing with that person. Uh, here's, the, here's the mainstream view on something, and you want to do something that's a little bit out of the mainstream. You know, there's many ways you can do this, but you can't, you can't do any of it if you don't know what's already been said and what's already out there, okay? So um, I've got some links on here to other uh, annotated bibliography uh, resources you can take a look at, but, you know, really what I'm looking for is um, you know, answers to the kinds of questions that I, that I list in this um, annotated bibliography um, page here. So that's really all I'm looking for. And, and the whole purpose of this is to get the best work out of you that I can, right? I mean, if you, you know, if I simply asked you to write a paper uh, at the end of the course, you know, um, some of you might just start thinking about it the day before and you'd dash something out and nothing, you know, um, it, it would not be your best work, right? If you've already thought about the thesis, the question, the topic, and gotten some resources together a month before, uh, you, have, you actually have a, a chance of, of, of thinking about this. And that, after all, is what we want you to do in philosophy. That's the goal in philosophy, to get you thinking carefully about whatever it is that, that you know, we're talking about, uh, whatever course it is. And so, so what I'm presenting here really is relevant to our course, but it's really relevant to any philosophy course. You know, this is actually a pretty good procedure to go through um, for any paper that you're being asked to do in any other course as well. The more you can kind of think through it in this kind of disciplined manner, the more you can get somebody to kind of think through it with you by responding to what you're, what you're saying, uh, the more you can kind of try out ideas early on and, and, and in some cases fail at them, right? I mean, it, you, may, you may think, hey, this is a great idea, and you go looking for it, and, and it just goes nowhere. That happens a lot. There, there's no problem with that, right? Better to know that 
beforehand and then be able to redirect your ideas than to uh, figure that out the day before and end up uh, you know, being saddled with an idea that's just not really that good. And so that's why I get you to do this. I really do want to see the best work from you that you can produce in this area. And I really do want to teach you how to think carefully as a philosopher. I know many of you are not, uh, you know, your major might not be philosophy, but even if it's not, um, I think there's a certain skill set that philosophers have that make you better in whatever it is that you're going to do. So that's what I'm after for this assignment. Um, and uh, I, uh, you know, this is not meant to be the last word. Maybe you try this out and, and you know, in a couple of weeks after you've thought about it a little bit more, you realize, eh, I'm not sure that's going to work. Um, you know, talk to me. Talk to me about it. Um, you know, that's what I'm talking about, that, that, that ability to fail early and then redirect yourself. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't mean failing by, uh, you know, getting a bad grade in something. I mean failing by realizing that the thing you thought would work is not going to work. And so, um, so, you know, this is a continuing conversation. It's a beginning of a conversation about the topic that you want to, to do. And so I'm hoping that you can start it now. We can talk about it um, between now and the time that you uh, do your paper. And, uh, you know, at that point you hand in uh, a paper that's really amazing. And I would love that. I think that would be great for everyone. So uh, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, thanks very much, everyone.